hello everyone uh, in this video we're gonna talk about item proposal item proposal is what is item proposal is uh, when we create a sales order we can propose list of items in sales order instead of going one by one and based on their past um, buying pattern we can create a list so let's take a look uh, we're gonna create a sales order first to show that uh, how item app proposal going to save a time and help so let's see the customer is ordering whole bunch of different items and with uh, different quantities so let's see we're gonna the customer is going to order different item with the different quantities and we have to enter them go one by one so let's see where we have uh, p-101 p-102 100-500 material 100-100 material with uh, different quantities so we're gonna save the sales order and we're gonna save it anyway. Okay, let's see how we create uh, item proposal is VA51 T code and standard item proposal or a type is PV. So we can create a list of items for inserted in sales order and, uh, uh, we can make a valid date to do it to simply next year or you can make it to whenever you want to make it valid to end date so here we're going to target quantity we're going to put in material so P-102, so target quality 3, 100-500, target quantity 2, 100, whatever quantity you want to put and uh, like decide, you put in that, just put one in that. So that's it and just press enter, all the description is going to come on there of the material and we can save this. So it's gonna give us this number up here, 5000053 is our item proposal number. So let's create a sales order with item proposal. VA01 to create sales order. Standard order type OR and this is our sales area up here. 1032 is for customer. And to propose item list there is a button up here propose items and press that actually purchase order number needed so press that the proposal item number is one we just created which is right here this number so this is item proposal number and we can either get uh, quantities default without quantities we can get the list of items not a quantity and default with quantity so quantities will copy in there so let's do this default with quantity and here's our items auto automatically populated in sales order uh, and with the and quantities specified in that we can change the quantities based on the if you want to change the quantity and customer order differently so we can just make it to one and save the sales order yep and here's the sales order has been created with the item proposal list in it so thank you for watching please feel free to Leave a comment and question. Thank you.